Hi, I'm Darren. I'm one of the Baxi trainers here at Warrington and today we're going to be looking at how to repressurize an expansion vessel on a Baxi 600. So today we're going to be looking at the expansion vessel on our 600. Uh, this may be just that we need to do a service or it could be because we've got a fault with the pressure relief valve. So before we start we need to isolate our flow and returns. We will connect our drain hose to our drain point and then with our radiator key we will then open the drain point and drain the pressure from the boiler. We can see through our pressure gauge that we've discharged all the pressure from the boiler. Okay, so we've got our Schrader valve hose connected. We're now going to check the pressure within the boiler, the expansion vessel, and top up if needed. To do this, we'll just gently pump our, with our pump till we reach one bar of pressure. Okay, so I've now achieved one bar of pressure in the expansion vessel. What I can now do is remove the expansion vessel hose and test my Schrader valve with leak detector. So once we've removed our hose, we can then check our Schrader valve with some LDF to ensure we've got no leaks. Okay, so we now know our vessel has been recharged fully. What we need now to do is close our drain off, open our return, open our flow, and then using our filling loop, we can recharge the boiler to one bar pressure. And to do that, we're simply going to open the filling loop till we've achieved our required setting on our pressure gauge, which is going to be one bar. And we can see that at the front of the boiler on the pressure gauge. Okay, as part of our process that we've carried out to check and repressurize the expansion vessel, if at any point we've had any discharge from the pressure relief valve, don't forget we need to replace that with a new one. 